Hey guys. All right, um, today we're going to be looking at a new plugin called Regressive. Um, I'm guessing that's a portamento from the words regress and aggressive. Um, because basically what it is, is it's a digital chaos unit is what they're calling it. Um, but in truth, what it actually is, is it's a combination of a filter and distortion unit, which then goes into a lo-fi. And uh, it's also got two LFOs, which can be mixed together. So yeah, it is kind of like digital chaos, as they would describe it. Um, it's by a company called Inia Display. I'd never really heard of them before, but I went to their website and uh, they've actually got more than just this plugin. They've got a couple going and they all look kind of interesting. So I'll be sure to actually check the rest out. This um, regressive unit is actually free. So it's, uh, you know, it's not a trial or a demo or anything like that. It's 100% free. Um, and as you can imagine, with the various modules, you can get limitless re uh, sounds out of it. It's also got a, a great GUI. Um, so it looks, you know, it looks very easy to use. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take you through it. We're going to put it on the instrument and we're just going to mess with it. Um, but if you want to check them out, go ahead and uh, visit uh, iniadisplay.com, and you can check out all their stuff, their various plugins and things like that. But let's just jump right into how it sounds. All right, so I've got it on an electric piano here. Um, let's just listen to the piano without it. Okay, that's basically how the piano sounds. I'm just trying to show you what it sounds like raw. Let's look at the plugin. All right. Um, what you want to do is you want to go over to the settings tab and say initialize. I think I already did that, so that's initialized for you. Um, I'm going to turn on the plugin. And it's going to sound initialized. It's going to pretty much sound like nothing's happening. So here we go. Let's start out and let's just start playing around with it. You can tell how it sounds. Look, guys, I mean, let's face it. We all have these pieces already um, in our plugins folder. We already have pieces like this. But combining all these together with the mix of the LF two LFOs, I really personally think this will become a creative tool that can be used to write music rather than um, as a go-to device for certain effects. Um, and I really like creative tools because the way I see it is that once you, if you, I mean, if you stumped for an idea, you got writer's block or something like that, you know, put a, a synth line or basic anything on a on a track. And, uh, and then pull up something like this and just start getting ideas with movement, with a different destruction of the signal, that sort of thing. So that's the way I see it. And it's free, so it's, it's really cool if you want to mess with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and start messing around. All right, let's, let's chuck some cutoff in there. Let's see how the filter sounds. Sounds kind of strange to me. See that wavy sort of sound, I don't know if you're hearing that. And it seems to go from a very, very cut off, one millimeter up, it's completely gone. Well, not completely, but I mean, it's just hardly there at that point. So that's kind of weird. But either way, I think you can get something cool with it. Let's go ahead and put some resonance on. A whole bunch of it. Cool. Got a nice, like, gritty sound from the res there. Let's go throw some drive on. Now, I'll take that res down a little bit. Um, but you're not going to hear the drive so much with the cutoff, so I'm going to release the cutoff and then.
getting some interesting sounds um, from these different shapes too. But I like that a lot. Um, Alright, cool. Now there's a couple of cool features also in this plugin that I haven't, you know, that I haven't really played around with too much. But one of them is that you can sort of daisy chain these elements together. Um, so for example, if you want an LFO on the cutoff, you could introduce this is the the mix of how much um, LFO you want going to the cutoff or cutoff going to the LFO if you want to put it that way. Um, so let's just let's just crank it all the way up so we can hear it nicely. And then what you do is you drag it um, from the LFO itself over to the cutoff, and it just sort of daisy connects it. And the LFO itself is very simple, but at the same time, it's got everything you need. Here's your different waveforms. All right, as you see, you've got quite a bunch you can choose from. And here's your rate. So it's really that simple. And same on your other LFO. But then there's also this, um, you know, this mix between the two LFOs. So I think this is quite, uh, quite handy to have. So let's go ahead and play with that quickly. <laughs> actually pretty cool um I'm gonna actually just crank that up. yeah that's sounding cool um and then the same can be done with this area with the resonance um so you could for example let's say pull this one over here all right let's crank some of that and as you can hear now the resonance is jumping all over the place um I think that's pretty cool. Um, you can definitely use this in different ways. I'm just going to keep playing with it and, you know, we can see what we come up with. Um, now, this is just your regular lo fi, your sample rate, and your, your bit depth. Um, so let's just play around with these and get a bit more interesting sound. Typical sort of sample rate drop sound. But it does it does get intense pretty quickly when you're playing with the sample rate. That's kind of common to uh, to all sample uh, sample rate drop is a lo lo fi unit, so you know. So so I never really add too much of it just because of that. Um, and then your bit depth. And again, this gets this escalates really quickly. So it's not really, you know, I don't know. I don't think this bit depth, you know, unit right here is really good. I don't I don't really like the sound. It just sort of breaks up way too quickly. I mean, I'd like to be able to just incrementally just bring it up or down or whatever the case is. Um, but that being said, that's still quite a cool unit to have there. The output is just really your amp section. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't... Um, bring this LFO mix to um, to the sample rate
something completely crazy there and it's i mean that's not particularly usable in that sense or anything like that um with that so you can just go crazy you can keep messing with those and uh and uh get something pretty cool going um let me just check out this dry wet quickly <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much the plugin in a nutshell because, um, you know, as you can see, I'm not particularly, this is not the right source material that I would really be able to get something great from it. But that being said, I'm also overloading, overloading the hell out of it by just sending everything everywhere and not even clearly thinking about what sound I want. Um, but I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of, uh, you know, of what this thing can do. And remember, it's free, so... Um, yeah, go get it. Uh, go get it right now. And uh, also, guys, um, if you're enjoying these videos and if you like, you know, getting updates on new plugins and what they sound like, also, also, I'm, you know, about to start doing a couple of other videos, you know, other interest videos, and you know, you might like those. But if you're interested, um, please subscribe. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.